Second City Tattoos. Do a resistance check on a on a coil. I want to show you guys real quick exactly uh, what you're getting with uh, hand wound coils uh, and uh, say an import uh, coil like this. It's an import coil, Chinese coil, okay? Or you know, hand wound coil like this that I that I do here at Sin Cities. Okay, I've got my multimeter hooked up and I'm checking resistance. Copper, which is what is inside uh, coil, uh, hand wound coils, and you know, American made coils uh, are high end uh, actual tattoo machines, not tattoo guns or kits. Uh, actual tattoo machines that are of any real value use copper wiring inside the coil, okay? Uh, this is insulated copper, so that's why the green is on the outside. However, uh, all that aside, uh, this import one is copper plated over aluminum, okay? Uh, copper is the least resistant of all electrical, uh, you know, conductors, as far as, you know, wiring goes. Uh, all conductivity rates are based off of copper. Uh, so it has the least amount of resistance. A properly round coil, eight wrap uh, coil should be, have a resistance of 1.5 per coil. Mine is 1.1, okay? Now, for, for the sake of having a good time and giving you all a little bit of information on your tattoo equipment, uh, knowledge is power. Let me take my coil off of this probe and I want to hook a Chinese uh, import one up real quick and let you take a look and see what the, uh, okay, we're back to zero now. Okay, there's, there's nothing on there. I'm going to hook this import one up and uh, hang on one second, so bear with me. Okay, that's, that's what we've got. It's going to skip around a little bit. The lowest I seen was 3.2, I think, uh, 3.8, okay. If I had two hands, I could do it better. But this is 3.8. Let's say 3.8. So what I'm saying is the import coils for one coil is twice the resistance of one coil that I want. The reason that's important is because resistance is a measurement of how, how fluid your electrical current is through your machine. Let's just say fluid. Okay, it's easy to understand. Uh, it doesn't have to fight as much to get through my coils as it does import coils. And that's important because the tattoo machine runs off of uh, uh, DC power um, and it energizes the copper around those iron uh, cores and it makes a magnet. Well, the better uh, the electrical conductor, copper, as opposed to aluminum plated uh, or copper plated aluminum, the easier it is for your machine to operate. That's why Chinese machines won't come on at anything less than eight volts. You can't tattoo with them at less than nine. My machines will come on at three and a half volts. You tattoo with them all day at five and a half, six volts. Big difference. Know your equipment.